is so fast. Wait, is all my stuff out in the front yard? What's happening? What in the world's going on? Well, we're gonna sell all your things. What do you mean? Connor, you spent way too much money. I mean, look at you, buying another brand new Tesla. We've had enough. Spending too much money, but we're rich. We can afford it. Correction, your mother and I are rich. You are not, Connor. Technically, Connor, you're poor. You've been using all of our hard-earned money. What money have you made, hmm? Well, I, uh... From this moment on, you are no longer welcome at this house. And don't even bother coming back until you figure yourself out. Man, I can't believe they kicked me out. But you know what? I still got the keys to our second mansion. Think you're so smart, Dad, trying to kick me out? Huh, here's my new home. Wait, why is the key not working? Did they already change the locks? Stop right there, you criminal. No breaking in on my watch. No, wait, please. This is my mansion too. My family lives here. Oh, you're the poor kid. That's right. Your dad just called a little while ago. You're not allowed here. Oh no, so they did change the locks. Yeah, you're poor and no one likes you. Especially me. I hate poor people. Now take a hike or get arrested, punk. Oh, Oh, man, well, that didn't work. Oh, Trent, Don, what are you guys doing here? Well, I saw this sweet Tesla pull in. We figured we'd come check it out. Yeah, this thing's so nice. Well, hey, guys, actually, I had a question. If you guys wouldn't mind, can I crash at one of your guys' houses for a little while? <laughs> Did you hear him, Don? Dude, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Look, dude, we were only friends with you because you were rich and you gave us money. We think you're boring and stupid. And now that you're broke, there's no point in being friends with you. Come on, Don, let's go launch fireworks off my yacht. Oh man, I'm starving. Uh, here's a place to eat. I love this spot. Excuse me, I'd like to order some food, please. Oh yes, sir, how can I help you? Well, I'd like some caviar and maybe some avocado toast. Caviar and avocado toast, anything else? Ooh, maybe a gold milkshake, yeah, that'd be great. All right, sir, your total will come to $2,000.75. Is that cash or card? Oh, well, about that. I actually don't have any money on me. What did you just say? You came into the most expensive restaurant in town, ordered $2,000 worth of food, and don't have any money? You better get out before I call the police. Oh, well, this isn't good. What am I gonna do now? Hey, wait! That's my car! It's mine now! Yeah! Yeah, it's real nice! Oh, no! That was the last thing I had! Oh, but now it's getting so late, and I'm exhausted from today. I guess I'll just have to stay here for the night. Man, I don't see how this could get any worse. Hey, hey, hey! Wake up! Come on, wake up! Oh, whoa, what's all the noise? What's going on? Don't you know it's trash day? It's Wednesday! I don't know anything about that. Well, this is my route, kid. I'm here to take out the trash, and I found you instead. What are you doing here? Well, this is where I had to sleep tonight. I was kicked out of my house, and I've basically lost everything. Kicked out of your house? You don't have any friends or anywhere else to go? Well, I thought I had friends. They were just using me for my money. Well, I'm really sorry, kid. I kind of feel bad for you. Look, I'll just get out of your way, okay? I know it's not much, but you're always welcome to come and stay with me for the night. Really? Do you mean that? Yeah, and I can give you something to eat or whatever. A shower? Man, you need one. Yeah, absolutely. I'll definitely take you up on that offer. All right, this is the place. It's not much. Yeah, it's kind of small. Uh, it's just good enough for me. Come on, why don't I make you something to eat? You look hungry. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. All right, just put a little bit of this here, and here you go. This is a Greg special. Ew, what is this? What's well, a sandwich, kid? Don't you have any, like, gold-crusted pizza? Maybe some Wagyu steak? What do you think this is, a five-star resort? Let me ask you something. Have you ever worked a day in your life? No, I haven't had to. Well, you got to now. I'm thinking you come to work with me tomorrow. Work? Really? It's either that or live on the streets for the rest of your life. You've got to make a choice, and you got to make it right now. So what's it going to be? Oh, man, this... Dinks. All right, this is the last stop on the route. Oh, no. What is it? Look, can we just skip this house? Skip this house? We don't skip assignments for work. You gotta go get that trash and bring it back here. What's the big deal? Ugh, okay, fine. I'll do it. Oh, man, this is so weird. Taking the trash out at my family's house? I really just hope no one sees me. <gasps> oh, no. 
About time you guys showed up. Look, we've got another bin of recycling in the garage and wait a second, Connor, is that really you? Hi, dad. Wow, look at how the mighty have fallen. My son is now a trash guy. I'll be honest, this is the last thing I expected to see today. Well, I didn't really expect to be taking out your guys' trash either. Don't even think about trying to get back into this house. You know you're not welcome here. That wasn't my plan. Good, just take out the trash. And while you're at it, take yourself out of here too. Keep up the good work. Now get off my property Ugh, i can't believe this do i really have to deal with this forever hey greg i need to talk to you man why don't people just learn how to recycle properly i mean paper and plastic what's the big deal oh uh, sorry what do you want to talk about greg i can't do this anymore can't do what anymore this job why do i have to be here taking out trash I told you this job wasn't glamorous. Well, yeah, it isn't glamorous at all. But more so, why do I have to deal with my dad treating me like trash? It's all just so pointless. Hey, 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 don't talk like that. You can't just give up on one bump on the road. Yeah, this is a pretty big bump, though. It's more like a mountain. If you're trying to make it in your life, you can't just expect everything to be easy and be handed to you. If you want your dad and your people to respect you, you've got to earn it. You know, I think you're probably right, Greg. I'm sorry. Here, let me help you with that. All right, good. I mean, look at this. This is clearly plastic. Hey, Connor. Dad, what are you doing here? You and I need to have a serious conversation. I want you to quit this stupid job and come work for me. Work for you? Why? You kicked me out. It's just that, well, uh, my other rich friends around town have been talking about how they saw you take out their trash. You're giving me a bad image, Connor. Honestly, I don't know what to say. How could you be so selfish, Dad? Selfish? You need to grow up, okay? You know what? I am growing up. You're acting so horrible to me, and all you care about is yourself. I'm gonna be fine and i'm gonna do all this without your help just leave me alone i've got work to do absolutely unbelievable Ugh. yeah i know i told him i don't get out of bed for less than two million you should have seen the look on his face <laughs> ted isn't that your son oh, oh my gosh yeah why does he look so poor hey dad Connor, what are you doing here? You need to leave right now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to talk to you. Connor, this is embarrassing. I'm working hard and I'm proud of myself and no one can take that away from me. Not even you, dad. Ugh, Connor, stop this right now. I want you out of this house. Don't worry, dad. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. Oh, but before I go, next time, learn how to recycle. He doesn't recycle? Wow, you think you know a guy. Connor, I'm really proud of you for sticking up to your spoiled dad. I'm also proud of you for all the hard work you've done. This is your first paycheck. Wow, thank you so much. This feels awesome. There's a little bit of extra bonus in there for you too, because you've been doing such a good job. Really? Oh, thank you so much, Greg. Now I want to go on a spending spree. Whoa, hey, spending spree? You need to start spending your money wisely, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Ooh, ooh, I want to get this. I don't think so. You don't need that. I love this grocery store. Everything's organic. Yeah, but it's also expensive. You should be going to the farmer's market instead. See? Local produce at a good price. Wow, no kidding. Oh, let's go to this store. Way too expensive, Connor. You just need to go to a normal store for now. This looks great. All right, that's enough. We gotta leave. Well, you've got enough money now. I think you need to rent your own apartment. What do you think of this place? Well, it might not look like the best place, but it'll work for now. It's a place you can call your own, and you worked hard for it. Thanks, Greg. I couldn't have done this without your help. All right, only two more trash cans on this route. We're doing great. Whew, this one's so heavy. Almost done. Whew, I'm so tired. Connor, you've almost been working a full 48 hours. Really? Has it been that long? Yes, you're like a machine. You need to be careful not to burn out. Don't worry, Greg. I know what I'm doing. I've got this. I need to make as much money as I can. That's not what this is about. What are you talking about? This is about you proving your dad wrong. It is taking a toll on you. I mean, you look exhausted. Look, I'll just take a nap and then I'll feel fine. I've got to get back to work. You can't be serious. I can't stop until I become rich again. <sighs> Man, I actually feel really tired. Ugh. Connor? Connor, are you okay? Oh, man, what happened? You passed out from overworking. Oh, no, I did? How long was I out? Basically an entire day, and a lot has happened. Take a look outside. Whoa, what's going on? All this trash is just, like, stockpiled. The city shut down our business. What? How could they do that? 
I don't know, I got a letter. I was told to stop working immediately. Came from City Hall itself. Well then I'll go down to City Hall and I'm gonna go talk to Councilman Ross. We need some answers. He's my dad's friend. Maybe he'll help me. So where is this guy? He's right there and he's talking to my dad. It's always a pleasure doing business with the City Hall, Councilman. I'll probably see you later at the Country Club. Dad, I knew you were behind this. What's wrong with you? Can't you see this is all because of you? Because of you, the city's gonna become extremely dirty. Everything will go back to normal if you decide to come work for me. That's not gonna happen. Greg, come on, let's just leave. Is exactly to blame for all the trash piling up around the city the waste disposal removal company along with Connor Welsh son of the richest people in the city and because of him and his spoiled attitude the roads are becoming absolutely filthy I'm sitting down here with councilman Ross councilman what is exactly going on here oh yeah that's right yes <laughs> Huh. Well, maybe it's because Connor is being too lazy to take out the city's trash. They're blaming me for this now? You've gotta be kidding me. I'll just take everyone's trash out myself. I'm gonna prove him wrong once and for all. You did not just spend all day taking the trash out for the city, were you? Oh, yeah, I did, and my back is killing me. That's it, Connor. You've gone too far. You can't just work 24-7. But I have to, Greg. Don't you understand? I understand you're trying to get back at your dad, but this is not the way to do it. You know what, Greg? I'm trying to make something out of my life. What do you know? Excuse me? You know what, Connor? I don't have to take this. I'm out of here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Man, what is wrong with me? Hey, Connor, I need to show you something. Look, Greg, I want to talk to you first. Just shut up and follow me. You see that sign up there? I worked my butt off to make this dump and make many more across the country. Wait, what? So does that mean you're actually rich? I own over a hundred dumps in almost every state of this country. Yes, I am rich, but I don't need the spotlight or the fancy living. I worked hard because I wanted to do it for myself, not because I wanted to do it for something or someone else. Wow, Greg, that's amazing. And actually, I wanted to say that I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Well, you were clearly exhausted and not thinking straight. There was only one idea you had that was actually a good one. Oh yeah? What's that? Going around and cleaning the city. This is a safety hazard for everybody in this city. And if no one else is gonna do it, we might as well. Now come on, put some boots on and let's go save this city. guys are going around cleaning up this whole city and they're not even paying you? No, because it's the right thing to do. Well, I own this property and my last tenants completely trash the place. If you clean it, I'll pay you for it. Yeah, we'll do that. No problem. The place looks almost as good as new. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. No, thank you. Trust me. I won't forget what you did for me today and what you're doing for everyone else. All right. We got to get going. There's plenty more trash in this city to take out. All right. This is the last stop. <sighs> Of course it is. You two are going around cleaning the city and you have the nerve to show up here. It's just part of the job. Connor, look at yourself. You literally spend all day in trash. You think you'll ever make your own money working at this deadbeat job? Well, Dad, this is exactly why I'm gonna start a cleaning business. A cleaning business? That's right. And I'm gonna make so much money, it'll make you look poor. Look, I started my own business once and I'm more than willing to help you out. You need a headquarters for your business. Now let's go talk to the landlord. Yeah, no, 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 sorry guys. No good. What? What do you mean no good? I'm not giving you the building. It's plain and simple. Now you gentlemen enjoy the rest of your day. Wait, hold on, but why? You gotta at least give us an answer. No, I don't. Oh man, what do we do now? I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Give this man a piece of my mind. Wait, is he on the phone? Who is he talking to? All right, I did what you said, Mr. Well. Now where's my money? I'll have it sent to your account immediately. Oh, great, thanks. Now I'm filthy rich. <laughs> Did that man just say Mr. Welsh? Of course it was my dad. I knew he had something to do with this. I guess we gotta try to find another way. I talk to almost every single landlord in this city. No one will let us rent a building. <sighs> man, so what are we gonna do? Is there any other choice? Well, I guess the only place we can do it is the only one we've got, the dump right here. Well, I guess if it's the only place we have. Hey, I'm not charging you rent, so why are you complaining? All right, all right, geez. Let's get this cleaning service started. Excuse me, is this CNG cleaning service? Yeah, this is it, welcome in. You guys can't be serious. No, we're serious. I'm starting a brand new cleaning company. So uh, what kind of job do you have for me? None. None? What do you mean none? How am I supposed to trust someone to clean my home if they work in a literal dump? Well, this place is the best. 
Well, I, uh, I would let you set foot inside my home. Good day, sir. Well, that's the 12th customer today that said no. Uh, this seems hopeless, Greg. No one wants to get their house cleaned by trash men. How many times have I got to tell you? You can't just let one bump in the road throw you off. Okay, but this is like 12 bumps. What are we going to do? Yo, hey. Oh, Kyle. Hey, what are you doing here? I heard that you got your own cleaning business now, and you need a place to start it. Well, yeah, and unfortunately, we've had no luck. Uh, why didn't you call me, dude? You know I own buildings. That's my gig. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I've got a perfect spot just for you right downtown. Really? That's great. If you give me free cleanings in my buildings for a month, I'll let you stay there on the house. Kyle, you've got a deal. Uh, I think this is the last box. Man, I can't believe now I'm so much closer to reaching my goal. Now that we've got an actual building to work out of, people will take us seriously. Things just keep getting better and better. Well, I guess the rumors are true after all. Ugh, what are you guys doing here? Actually, we wanted to come by and say, uh, we're proud of you. It's true, everything you've accomplished. It's amazing. And mom, where have you been? Oh, you know me, <laughs> in Europe, busy. I don't want to hear it from you two. You guys have done nothing but be mean and try to get in my way. You kicked me out of my house and you sabotaged Greg's business. Look, can't we just put all this stuff behind us? We're still your parents after all. No way. You guys are probably just here because you want me to join dad's business again because you're scared. Scared of what? Scared of my success. Too late now, dad. I'm going to have a successful business and make you eat your words. You know, Connor, just a few months, you've been doing pretty good for yourself. I mean, look around. I know. There's so many people here that want us to clean for them. Not only that, but the whole city is starting to take notice of you. Yeah, I think we're doing a great job so far, Greg. Excuse me, excuse me, Connor. Yes, Winston Butters, Channel 5 News. I was wondering if you have time to talk real quick. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks to your business, the city has never looked cleaner. Your business is doing great, and it seems as though you're making a ton of money. Tell me exactly, how do you feel right now? Well, it feels pretty great, and it also feels great to to help out people that need it too. And soon we're actually gonna be launching our new recycling program. Recycling program? That sounds absolutely amazing. Something this city definitely needs. In such a short time, you've just been so incredibly successful. I bet one day you're gonna be the richest man on the planet. Connor, be the richest man on the planet? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm the richest man on the planet. All right, got a brand new customer today. Let's go show him what our company's all about. Wait, is that my dad? What is he doing here? Trust me, you made a good choice switching to Welsh cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys did a great job. Thanks. Oh, oh, you, you're from the other company, right? Yeah, I'm from CNG Cleaning. Well, uh, hey, your service is no longer needed. Uh, my house has already been cleaned, so uh, thanks. <laughs> and thanks again for your business, friend. <laughs> Dad, what is this all about? Well, I was kind of bored, and when you're bored and as rich as I am, sometimes you just start a business. I heard people are making some good money in the cleaning business, so I figured I'd give it a go. You're such a liar. You did this just to mess with me. I know it. Look, Connor, if my incredible cleaning business accidentally puts yours out of business, there's nothing I can do about it. This is how the rich stay richer. Thought you would know this by now. Ugh, Dad, I can't believe you. What I can't believe is how stupid you really are. I'm gonna give every single one of your customers money to side with my business instead of yours. Oh, poor Connor. You have no idea what's in store for you. And I can't believe my dad. I knew he'd pull something like this. And it's really quiet in here. Where is everybody? Greg, where are all the customers? They all called and canceled. Said they got a better deal with Welsh cleaning. Any idea who that's about? Ugh. <sighs> Of course. My dad's stealing all of our customers. Now there isn't anyone that wants us to clean. Well, we got one potential customer. I got a call from the principal to clean the school. Oh, really? The whole school? Oh, this is great. I'm glad not everyone has given up on my business. Call him back and let's set up a meeting. Yeah, look, really, really sorry. I had the money ready for you and everything, but we moved on to another cleaning service. You can't be serious. Let me guess. Welsh cleaning? Yeah, you've heard of them, huh? Heard they're going to do some incredible work. Look, sorry. Have a great day, gentlemen. By the way this is looking, Connor, this is not good. If we can't make the money, we might not be able to keep this business going. <sighs> what are we going to do? Another long day of not making money. How does it feel, Connor? Dad, what are you doing here? What do you want? I want to sit down and have a conversation to you man to man. I've got a deal for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? Seems as though within a couple days, your business is going to be uh, completely under. So here's your option. We merge cleaning businesses together. You sell yours to me, and then you can run the whole thing. I know. I knew this was your game plan the whole time. It's what I always told you when you were growing up. It's best to have a game plan. Look at how successful 
I've become. And look at the failure you've become. At the end of the day, you get everything you want. Your own business, all the money you want. It's a win-win. Why wouldn't you accept this deal? This isn't a win-win, Dad. This will just be a win for you because I'll just be working for you instead. Under a technicality, sure. Of course, I'll be the CEO. Just think about it, Connor. Oh, man, that's a heavy decision to make. But I really think you should consider your dad's offer. You really think I should? I mean, if you don't, this whole business is done for. And you do a good job and you mean well. I'd hate to see this business go under. But, Greg, that's the point. The entire point of all of this. We're supposed to separate from my family. I don't want to work for them. I won't lie. I definitely wouldn't want to work for your dad either. Man's on a total power trip. They kicked me out because they wanted me to get rich all on my own. And now they're trying to pull me back? I'm not going to let that happen at all, Greg. I'm going to find a way to make this work. So what have you got in mind? Well, I think I need to make a call to an old friend. An old friend? Yeah, his name is Thomas. He went to law school. I think we could use his help. Brought your lawyer with you, huh? Excellent work, Connor. You're for once using your brain. Now let's sign this deal. I'm not signing anything. Thomas, would you take it away from me? Yeah, sure thing. Actually, Mr. Welsh, will you know what you're doing is completely illegal. Company assassination doesn't look good for your reputation. Well, well, well. So the boys have come to play the game, huh? <laughs> well, all right then. You really want to sue me? Actually, sir, we do. Here are your papers, and I'm sure you can have one of your lawyers look them over. You know what, Connor? Go ahead. Sue me for all I care. I have the best lawyers money can buy. This is gonna be a joke. Your Honor, I'd like to immediately dismiss this case. It's a waste of my time, your time, and everybody's time. Motion denied. What do you have to present today? Your Honor, this man, Mr. Welsh, is legitimately bribing his customers, giving them money to leave my client's business. What he's doing is completely illegal. Well, yes, of course. Do you have any evidence? Um, not entirely, but we do know for a fact. What I know for a fact is that you need evidence in a court trial. If you do not, then we need to send Mr. Welsh on his way. Then, Your Honor, I move to postpone this trial until we can come up with some evidence. I think that would be best, Thomas. Now, if you don't mind, let's just go on with our days. Just give up, Connor. Your business is as good as mine. Look, I'm not giving up on this, Dad. Well, then, good luck finding some evidence. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? We don't have anything on my dad. Nothing. Well, we officially have zero clients on our client list. Oh, then that's it then. Dad won. Took everyone away, and we don't have any evidence for him in court. So you're just gonna let him win, huh? Well, yeah, what else am I supposed to do? You're supposed to look at everything you've accomplished so far since your rotten parents kicked you out. Look at you. Don't let any of this stop you. Well, sure, we did accomplish a lot, but my dad has more money, more power, more influence, more everything that I don't. You found a way to take nothing into something. You're the most determined person I've ever met in my life. Besides me, of course. You found a way before, you'll find one again. You know what, Greg? Thanks. Thanks for being so supportive. You know what? I will go out, and I'm gonna try to get some evidence on my dad. He'll see. All right, shh. We can't be seen, Greg. I'm trying my best here. I'm a big guy. What do you want from me? Look, we just gotta follow my dad so we can see how he conducts his business. There's a customer now. Look. Hey, dude. I found some dust on my mantle. Thought you guys said you were gonna clean it. Don't worry. I'll have someone down here right away to take care of that for you. And here you go. Your weekly bonus from staying away from C&G cleaning. The rotten business it is. <laughs> I still can't believe you literally give me money for this. <laughs> that rotten snake. Look at him. I'm sorry. I know that's your dad, but man, I don't like that guy. No, this is great. I'm gonna get all this on video. Now I finally have the evidence I need. Dad, you're going down. All right, this court is officially in session. Thomas, were you able to acquire any evidence against Mr. Welsh? Actually, sir, I do have some evidence. Luckily, Connor himself caught Mr. Welsh bribing his customers with money. Well, this is pretty irrefutable evidence. This is clearly you, Mr. Welsh. My ruling is that Welsh cleaning goes out of business immediately, and all the money you've gained will be donated back to Mr. Connor's business. What? Are you serious? Dean, I thought you said this was an open, closed case. Look, I tried my best. What do you want from me? You're the idiot that got caught on camera. Oh, I get to keep my business. This is awesome. Connor, look, I'm sorry about everything, all right? You won this time, fair and square. Honestly, I'm proud of you and the man that you've become.